Hey, um, I just want to make a quick video on exactly how to disable or enable control flow guard and when to and when not to because uh, my last two videos were kind of long lengthy. I was talking a lot doing random stuff But yeah, so control flow guard Makes DX12 run as it should as it should and not stutter or be dumb and You only want to run DX or you only want to disable control flow guard, which I'll show you in a minute if you are running on DX12. So if you're playing Warzone, disable control flow, flow disable control flow guard. If you're playing if Cold War's DX I don't know if Cold War's DX12, I don't even know. Vanguard DX12 games, you want to do this. Fortnite, I definitely recommend DX12. It outperforms performance mode. Not in high FPS, but in average FPS and stability. It, you will get better FPS in hard to run situations. So not in a creative, you won't get a thousand in a creative, you'll get like f maybe 400 if you ran a thousand before. But in game, you'll run 250, 260 instead of running a hundred. And that, that's just personal, what I run. I have an RX 580, I can show you. I am running an overclock. This is my overclock I'm running. <coughs> RX 580. And I run 240 FPS in an arena endgame with 50 people, steady. So, to disable control flow guard, you want to go to exploit protection. You don't want to disable this. Leave this on because this is an important this is an important security feature. Now, you want to go to program settings. Ignore this. I'm going to remove this. And I'll do Warzone 2. And if you need, if you need me to tell you where something is... If you can't find it and you've actually tried to look for it, I will help you. So, this PC, for Fortnite, you want to go... So, that's what you do. You add, I add program to customize, choose exact file path. This PC, your main drive, which you have your games on. Program files. Where is it at? Hold on. I'm blind. Epic Games. Fortnite. Fortnite game. Binaries. Win64. Now... This is this goes this is a general rule for most of your games. The biggest file is going to be the actual uh, shipping client of the game, which means it's the one handling the assets. It's like the software that is controlling everything. So you want to add that, and you want to go down to receive Control Flow Guard right here, CFG, override, and turn it off. All you have to do, and this will make DX12 run perfect as it should. Now for Warzone, you want to go this desk desktop. Actually, no, you don't have to. You just go to document, documents, right here. Uh, Call of Duty, players. No, it's not players. Oh, no, we're, oh, no, I'm wrong. My fault. Ignore that. You go to this PC, main drive, program files. Now, is it here? No. Program files 86. There it is. Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Somewhere on the back, it is a little everywhere. So... Add program, choose exact. This PC, main drive, program files 86, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare EXE. You see how, how big of a file package that is? Or how big of a size, how much data that is? That's, this is the, the shipping client. <sighs> Boom, disable control floor guard, off. This this is how you fix DX12. Stop playing performance mode. If DX12 is an option for a rendering, as you if you can if you have the option to run DX12, run it, run it, and just do do what I did for every game that runs DX12. Especially if it's stuttering. If it's stuttering, do that. But if you want to go back to like for Fortnite example, for example for Fortnite, if you're running DX12 and you disabled this. You went here, went to program, blah, 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 did all that, and you disabled this. For Fortnite, if you go back to performance mode or back to DX11, turn this back on because it will cause even worse stuttering. I'm not going to say here and explain why, but it just is. So. 